Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error message on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where you're tending to add a new user to your computer and the error message you receive says that we're sorry, but something went wrong. The user wasn't added to this PC, followed by error code 0xd000225. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, circle back or registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external drive. So now that that's out of the way, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Go down to Current Control Set and double-click on that. Should be a Control folder in here. Double-click on that one as well. And then there should be an LSA folder. So if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub-key that we went under to get to this point. So now on the right side, you want to locate a string value that says Security Packages. Go ahead and double-click on that. You want to look for a couple of values in here. The first one is PKU2U, as well as Live SSP. If you do not see them in here, you're going to have to go and add them. So first one, I'm just going to make sure I zoom in on the screen here so you can see it pretty clearly. First one's going to be PKU2U, just a number, numerical 2. Don't spell out 2, just a numerical value of 2. So again, P as in Peter, K as in Kite, U as in umbrella, 2 is in the number 2, and then U is an umbrella, and then space, and then we're going to type in live, L-I-V-E, S-S-P, so again, L is in livid, I is in Ivan, B is in Victor, E is in Evan, S is in Sam, S is in Sam, P is in Peter, and then you're going to select OK. And it's OK if it contains empty strings. It's going to automatically remove any empty strings. So just go ahead and select OK to that. You can double-click on it just to confirm that it did save the values in here. And then once that is done, you will need to close out of here and actually restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and restart our computer at this time. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.